हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजे पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑन चेंज क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट इन डिटेल्स राइट सो इन प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट ओवरव्यू ऑफ क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट एंड आल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट ऑनलोड क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट इन विच सेनेरियो वी कैन यूज इट राइट सो यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट ऑनलोड देन चेक आउट द प्रीवियस वीडियो fine so in this video let's talk how on change client script work and in which scenario we can use a on change client script but before that guys it's my humble request please like and subscribe my channel thank you so now let's uh, start so similar way like let, let's say uh, if user is requesting uh, if user is on the form and if they want to uh, perform some event or they want to run some logic while changing the form then on change event will get called right so on that scenario we can use a on change client script let's say take an example uh, business requirement let's say while changing a category sub category should display a value particular value basically right so on that case we can uh, write a on change client script on the category and based on category selection uh, we can display the sub category another example let's say um, if a state is uh, um, someone is changing from open or new to work in progress then assign to an assignment group should be mandatory right that is the ideal scenario if you are uh, making the inc uh, incident work in progress then that incident has to be assigned to someone or in a group correct so similar way you know in order to uh, have those kind of functionality at the form level we can write a <coughs> sorry on change client script again same similar way while changing a uh, event on any form field on change client script will get executed once the logic uh, fully get executed then again control go back to um, user right they can see the effect fine so um, let's talk about some parameter which we will get while uh, uh, writing a on change client script right so first let's jump to service now instance and uh, we will create one on change client script and we will make a field mandatory uh, while making a state change right so let's say if we are uh, writing over here where it is client script right and now um, let's click on new right and here uh, let's say give um, make uh, fields mandatory right now what uh, uh, we can do i want to apply on the both let's say uh, ui type is both table uh, oh, sorry type is uh, on change right and the moment you will select the on change then it will give you option to select the field name so let's say in this case i want to select the state right so we want to apply on the state so uh, while creating this one the moment we have changed the type as on change as you can see here a uh, few fields are by default available right few field means like a few objects are by default available by service now so let's first save this one and we will talk all the object one by one right so um here uh, let me jump back to our document so here in this uh, the parameter which we are talking about we are getting a control this is the one parameter then we have a old value new value is loading and is template so basically control uh, what kind of options we will be getting using a control if we use a control object then what kind of option we will be getting so let's understand that first so if you are using a control basically it's a dynamic hypertext markup language basically a widget whose value changed okay so whenever value is getting changed that particular field we are talking we are writing on change client script so we are talking about only on that particular field 
so it will give you kind of a widget and when value is getting change so what kind of other uh, steps we can do so control parameter are generally used for uh, used for if we want to change the dynamic field side so let's say while um, changing the uh, state we want to make a field side a smaller or bigger or some kind of uh, um, css we want to apply on that case we can do using a control right it's a basically the field for which the client script is written and it will give you the html object for that field so that you can change or use it as per your need correct so uh dynamically if you want to apply some logic let's say you want to make some uh, um you have not written any uh, validation and on and while changing the field value you want to do some kind of validation let's say you want to only allow a 15 character or alphanumeric character such kind of validation if you want to perform then you can perform using a control object right so uh, one example i have written over here that if you want to set a, a field value color um then you can do a control dot a style dot color is equal to blue blue means like uh, it will set the blue if you will give red then it will set the red that we will see with the lab example okay and the note uh, thing is it is not applicable for the mobile and service portal right so it will only work for the um native view old value is something uh, as name suggests uh, if it is previous it will give you the value for the uh, what was the previous value while changing let's say uh, um, by default it was selected x and from x to you are changing to y then your previous value will become x and new value will become y so same thing old value means previous and uh, new value means the new value which you have selected just now Ease loading is something that uh, um, <clears throat> while loading the form if we want to perform some kind of operation on that case uh, we can use the ease loading under that uh, we can write our logic <coughs> sorry guys so let's say one common uh, um, interview questions asked by the interviewer for a client uh, on change client as kept uh, can we can we run on change client as kept while loading the form the answer is yes or no answer is yes right so we have a easy loading so if you are writing any logic over here then it will run while loading the form right got it so the, you have to uh, tell them that yeah we can write uh, on change uh, on load client uh, um on load uh, steps also we can make uh, um, changes while changing the um, field also uh, also as while loading the field fine so hope you got it and each template is something uh, hmm, it has been introduced that uh, if uh, the field value let's say uh, let me give you the example over here so sometime what it will happen while uh, hmm, yeah, this value we can fill via uh templates as well predefined templates so let's say we want to fill it the assignment group we want to fill the assign to dot description description we can fill it via the template on that case um if you want to use this as each template and how it will give it will give you the boolean value if the data is applied a state value is applied through the template then it will give you the true else it will give you the false if someone has done manually in this case what it will do it will give you the false fine now uh, let's say our objective was to make a field mandatory so while loading the form i'm just returning i'm not doing anything okay so here what i'm going to do i will be writing a g underscore form right um dot set mandatory right and here i'll be passing a assignment group correct so our objective is to make a assignment group mandatory so this value i'll be copying
and here i'll be passing a true correct this will become mandatory and now assign to also so what i will be doing is assign to i'll be filling it assigned to as well but we have one more condition right so if someone is changing this uh, to work in progress then only we want to apply so what we have to do we have to check the work in progress value as well right what we can do i'm just getting an internal value <coughs> over here so work in progress having a uh, internal value as a two you can do a, a right click and so choice list also so it will give you the internal value but the fastest way i used to do it this way so how we will check now then so we have to apply a if condition if before that we have to get the state value right so where state is equal to g underscore form dot get value and inside get value we have to pass our sorry state state is the field name so in this we will be getting a, a state one or two or something like so if a state is equal equal to two two means what we are having work in progress right then we want to make it mandatory else we don't want to make it mandatory so here i will be giving a false right good yeah right now uh, <clears throat> fine so let's save this one it's easy to write you know right so it's very simple only you have to remember uh, the function name is mandatory um display hide and so all those stuff how to get the value here we have and even no need to um, make it uh, this one memorable also you just do a g underscore form dot then it will give you uh, all the list of options let me just refresh it over here <coughs> right and what i can do i can click on work in progress then as you can see here now both fill it's becoming a mandatory if i will on change to here then it's not becoming a mandatory right so let me just uh, save this one i want to showcase you one more thing okay there is no easier available so let's say help desk might be having then <clears throat> we'll select different one so e cab approval let's say no user is having the database yeah database is having so let me select <clears throat> and save this um, form right now as you can see here um, our objective was if a state is um, work in progress then these two fields should be mandatory right but while changing a form it's becoming a mandatory right it's becoming a mandatory but while loading the form if i reload the form it's not be make becoming a mandatory on that case what we have to do we have to write the same logic this one inside instead of returning this one we just remove the new value is equal to empty this one is loading also true maybe it will give the true and false so if i will write inside the is loading then it will work right while loading the form also correct so let's see see now it's become a mandatory means we have written an on change but while loading the form also it's working right fine guys so this is all about the um, on change client script in the next video we will see on submit a client script right thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video